So we're here in Aracera, Portugal. It's 5.30 in the morning. It gets light here at like six or so, so we just get up and like kind of cruise and like get our stuff together. And then um, by the time the light comes up, we're kind of ready to go. Well, he's, his parents aren't here, so let's make sure he doesn't die in a foreign country. I guess that's probably the, <laughs> the number one thing, you know, get him here safe, get him home safe. Um, he works hard, never complains, we're up early, and so it, it's a really cool relationship in that way. You know, he's, um, he's, he's ready to go and listens well and learns quick. And uh, so as far as like a coach relationship, especially with somebody who's 15 years old, you know, I guess he's almost 16 now, but um, yeah, it's, it's, we have fun. I feel like the kind of environment I'm in all the time, I never really get too nervous just because I have so many like awesome people supporting me and helping me out. I mean, just between my family and then Chris and uh, everyone who supports me, like my sponsors and all those guys, they all believe in me. And I know that like they believe in me for a reason. So I just got to believe in myself and then that, that'll carry over into results. Yeah, for sure. Like it, I could see, like when I went down, I saw a white water line in the dark, then a set came through and it just wound right through. It was like the perfect tide. So, you should get on it, man. Love me, baby. Love me all night long. I try to prepare as much as I can for whatever event or like trip I have coming up. And then when I get there, I feel like I prepared really well. So now all I have to do is go out and surf. <laughs> I grew up in a town called Encinitas, California. Almost everyone who lives in the town just like surfs or hangs out at the beach almost every day. And there's a lot of like cool families to hang out with and stuff like that. So I have a really cool town to grow up in. 11 and a half. <laughs> it's all in my big toe. It's just like this big. I feel, I feel like I kind of trip over my feet a lot more than <laughs> I would if they were like smaller. But I think it helps me like just grip the board, I guess. Like um, you just have more area to like land on. I just did contests and like had fun, but then once I was like, about 10 or so, I was like, I really like this surfing thing. Like, I'm gonna go after it and like see see how far I can take it. And um, that was that was pretty much it for me. I'm psyched with where I am right now, just um, in my surf career. I mean, I'm really young still. I'm only 15, so I don't really feel like I have to be on the QS just yet. I'm just um, trying to like work on my surfing and just once I grow and get a little bit bigger and I feel like I have a shot to like try and qualify through the QS, I'm gonna go for it. I would say this next year coming up, I'll probably be home for like three months or something like that. I love to just go to different places and see what the world's like because I know a lot of people who never really even get to leave their home. So the biggest challenge for me at least is like just trying to make sure I keep up good grades in school. You never know with surfing, like I could get, I could blow out my knee tomorrow and have no like surf career. So um, you definitely have to be like, all right, like after surfing, I, I wanna, be able to do other things too like the longest you can pretty much surf like at a high level is until you're like 40 or something and Kelly's like the only guy who's done that so far so um, you still have a lot of your life left to live so I don't want to just be stuck like not doing anything I want to go like get a good job and like stuff like that after I'm done surfing or if like my surf career doesn't work out you gotta have like another plan so you don't get stuck doing nothing. <laughs>I want to like raise my level of surfing like as high as I can go so I'm not gonna be like just settle for like being all right like I want to try and be like the best surfer I can be you know so you gotta like know that you can still get better like no one can ever master surfing so it's something you just have to really work at. really have a favorite quote but if I was gonna like live by something it would just probably be like just to have no regrets, regrets and just um, kind of go after life as, as hard as you can and then hopefully it all pays off one day.